You this morning, family, friends and fellow lawmakers will be gathering to say a final farewell to former South Florida lawmaker Carrie Meek. CBS Wars Brooke Schaefer joins us live from Miami Gardens with what we can expect. Brooke, good morning. Maribel, good morning. Her funeral service will actually happen in the new building just behind this church. I was actually just told it's going to be their first funeral service in their new building. Today is the third and final day of services across South Florida for the late Congresswoman. Today we'll start with a family motorcade procession around 9 a.m. from the Range Funeral Home in Miami. The motorcade will make some stops on the way to the church, including a stop at the Carrie P. Meek West K through 8 center. We're told students there will actually be waiting outside, waiting to watch the motorcade go by and honor the late Congresswoman. Then the funeral service in Miami Gardens will start at 11 a.m. Last night, Maribel, there was also a service at Miami Dade College's North Campus. Meek made history there at MDC as the first black professor. Last night, the late Congresswoman respected for her work in South Florida. Not once did Carrie Meek ever shy away from using her voice to speak out against acts of injustice. I remember the night the college named the Meek Center. She was beaming because she knew that that would stand for what she stood for, hope and opportunity. Congresswoman Carrie Meek will be buried at a memorial park not too far from here in Opelaka. Again, her funeral service starts this morning at 11 a.m. In Miami Gardens, I'm Brooke Schaefer, CBS 4 This Morning.